Not all my friends were avid music fans, and we knew albums came out on Tuesdays, and we would just leave school, pick up CDs or cassettes by our favorite artists, and you know, listen to them in the car and eat lunch, and it was just so fun. There was something so, so social about that, and so listening with other people is just better. That there's something about the social aspect. If you can even imagine having a party at your house and not having music on. I mean, It'd be like the worst party ever. We're just looking at the song and saying, how can we make this better at all times? But I'd love to welcome Rick up to the stage. Rick was hoping that he got out of having to come up in here in front of everybody. I was terrified working with Rick for the first time because like of my top favorite albums, I think of a lot of our top favorite albums, Rick has done a bunch of them. This band is very unusual compared to any other band I've ever worked with in that everybody in the band can program and everybody sort of works on sections and then they trade files and work on it at home and then after an album's done they listen to it and figure out how they're going to be able to play it live. I asked the fans, wait until release day to listen to the record. However you want to do it, do your thing and document it, take pictures, take vidies, take whatever, and post it on Twitter so we can all party together. The Living Things release day challenge is, it falls in line with like what Sonos is all about, because Sonos is about these social experiences and even this place, the Sonos studio where we're at right now, like this is especially what this place is about. So if fans head over to facebook.com slash Sonos, they can sign up and they can enter to win a Living Things customized Sonos Play 5.